Um, all right, hi guys, how are you doing today? Um, so I just I just discovered a new piece of software and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it and so I just thought I would uh, make a make a short little uh, internet video for you guys um, to to show what I've been what I've been learning. Um, so yeah, I want to make a video about how to make clouds in 3D software, um, which is it's. Uh, it's wild that computers now have the capacity to to make 3D shapes and and even render them out in full broadcast quality. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what uh, that's what the the Intel Pentium line of processors can do for you. So uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some reference photographs of, uh, of clouds. We're going to try making clouds in 3D software. So I'm going to, I'm going to minimize that and uh, gonna open up this folder on my desktop. It has clouds in it. So here's the first, uh, I got these off the World Wide Web. World Wide Web. Um, and you can just, it takes a little while to download full images, but you can Download whatever images you want from from other people and uh, and uh, and view them on your on your desktop, which is uh, pretty interesting. I think it's it's this is the future, really. I think I know some people think the internet's going to be a fad, but I don't think so. Um, so here's the first one, and you can see we got a lot of kind of fluffy curves here. Um, I like the way the the sun is kind of peeking out from behind. I'm um, gonna go to the next one, and this one's very similar to blue sky, nice fluffy clouds. It's gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard to to make them look exactly like this because we have to like we have to use uh, like shapes, three D shapes like cubes and uh, spheres and stuff. But uh, we'll get pretty close, I think. And this one this one's my favorite of the images um, to, that I downloaded. And um, yeah, I like the the golden sun in uh, in there, um, and the the little bit of a horizon here, foreground horizon. So we're gonna try and replicate that. Um, okay, so I'm gonna close that up to um, to free up a little memory for for this. Um, so yeah, we have a few different uh, types of three D software that you can use. Uh, I know there's a 3ds Max, there's a True Shape, um, Autodesk. I know is, is doing some pretty interesting stuff, but uh, I just found this uh, this piece of software called Blender, um, and it uh, it's free, so I, I downloaded it, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make the clouds in in this program Blender. Uh, it's not as good as the others, but uh, maybe one day I'll get there. Who knows. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna double click on that. It's gonna open up, and uh, yeah, this is the interface here. Um, so I'm gonna kind of breeze by a few of the things. If you guys need more of an intro tutorial, let me know. So I'm gonna click on the on the cube. Um, we're not gonna use the cube, so I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna hit X to delete, and I'm gonna hit Shift A to add an icosphere. And this is where we're gonna do with the ecosphere. We're gonna we're gonna mostly do do what we're uh, how we're gonna make a cloud is gonna is gonna be. So I'm gonna take the <laughs> take the ecosphere. I'm gonna shift D to duplicate it. So I'm gonna get another one, and uh, I'm gonna use S to scale it bigger. And we're just gonna do this a few times. Maybe I'll take both of these. I'll shift D and uh, make it bigger again. Maybe rotate them a bit, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of I'm liking this. So again, we'll I'll just uh, maybe I'll minimize that and get my clouds out again. Yeah, so there's there's like a bump, bump, bump. So I'm getting I think I'm getting pretty close. Let's go back to Blender. Bump, bump. Let's maybe do these one more time. 
feel like I need one more just up here. And I think we're gonna I think we're gonna call it there. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's make a I'm gonna go into the rendered mode and I'm gonna delete this light and I'm gonna shift A, make another light, and I'm gonna make a sun. And we're gonna try and replicate that uh, that one golden golden cloud photo. I think that was a really cool one. Uh, and so we're gonna go down to the data settings for this light, and we're gonna choose the color, and we're gonna make it kind of that golden color. Yeah, so you can see it right there. Um, now we need to make the background look like a sky, so we're gonna go to this world tab. Um, we're gonna choose the color, and we want a nice blue, like, uh, like was in that photo. It was kind of a darker blue, I think. And now the blue is kind of counseling out the yellow and the sun, so we're going to go back to the light and we're going to saturate it a little bit more. There we go. Now to get the camera set up, we're going to hit Control, Alt, and then zero on the numpad. And that's going to get the camera to our view. And I'm just going to place this kind of where I want it. So another thing you can do with clouds, which is kind of cool, is you can you can copy all of them, all the objects, and then I can shift D all of them. It may take a while if your computer isn't uh, isn't uh, like top of the line within the past couple of years. And we can just copy that. I'm gonna rotate it a bit, maybe make it go upside down so it looks like a completely new cloud. Now, isn't that cool, eh? There we go. So now we got two clouds in our scene. And uh, I think I'm just, I think I'm ready to, ready to render this. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure all my, my file browsers are closed to free up as much memory as my computer can use. And uh, look at this, I can, I'm gonna try rendering at 480 by 260, which is broadcast quality. Isn't that cool? It could be on, on TV. Wow, I think that's so cool. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go up to render, render image. And wow, that was that was pretty quick. That was quicker than I expected, actually. And uh, yeah, I think I think that looks pretty amazing. Now let's go. I'm going to minimize Blender. I'm going to go back to my clouds. I'm going to get my cloud, uh, my photo that I got off the off the Internet off the World Wide Web, and uh, uh, of course it's not going to be, it's not going to be pixel perfect, it's not really a photograph or anything like that, but I think, uh, yeah, within a, within a few years, maybe a decade or two, who knows, who knows where we're going to get, it's, uh, I think this is, this is very exciting technology. Um, so uh, yeah, that, uh, that completes the, the tutorial. Um, yeah, let me know, uh, let me know if you guys make the, make your clouds or if you start making anything else, uh, in, in Blender. Okay, bye-bye.